Hey guys, my name is Felita and this is Budgeting with the Mealings. In today's video, I will be preparing a bi-weekly budget for my family as well as for myself. Um, as far as our personal expenses and the family expenses go, if this sounds like something you would be interested in, please stay tuned. I'm going to try not to make this video extremely long. We'll start with our family expenses and what we expect to receive as well as what we expect to pay. Um, I'm hoping you guys can see this okay. Um, so we'll just jump right in. Um, we have a combined income of $21.38. We have a rollover of $826, which is giving us a total income of $29.64. Um, the items that are listed in the bill section are items that are either, um, they come out through bill pay or that um, I just don't stuff. Like, I don't take out cash from the bank to pay these bills. It's our mortgage, which is 10, uh, I'm sorry, $1,011. Our power, which is 145, our life insurance, which is 80, our spectrum bill, um, which is our cable, that's 78, and our spire, which is our cable, is also 78. We have ADT, which is our home security, which is 33, and then a storage bill for my daughter, which is 35. So all of that combined gives us a total of $1,460. So we'll have $1,504 left. Now from that 1504, we'll have grocery, which is 150. I budget 150 for that. Household expenses, which is 40. Medical, um, which is my daughter's braces, that's 83. Let me make sure you guys can see that okay. Um, and then we have tuition for my daughter Morgan. She'll be going off to college next year, so we're trying to start saving for that. We have Wayne's, which is $11, which is our pest control, our tags, which is $34, car maintenance, which is $40, HOA, which is $15, uh, Gracie, which is our dog, she gets $10, and then we have emergency, which we're trying to build that back up at $25. So that comes to a total of $458. So that's leaving us a balance of $1,046. One thing that I did want to point out to you guys as far as like our bills, I mentioned this, um, I think a couple of weeks ago when I did our budget, our first January budget and how I was telling you guys that my husband is military and um, well, he's, he's a reservist, um, but whenever he goes on an extended leave or a leave, his pay sometimes does not line up with his nine to five pay. So what we started doing was trying to pay ahead. And for us, paying ahead basically meant that we, um, like, just say, for instance, um, our Spire bill, which I actually have one here to show you guys in just a second. Um, if the bill is, just say, $150 a month, I paid that $150. And I also paid an additional $150, which put us ahead for one month. Now, the reason that I did that, it was it was a couple of reasons. Um, the first reason is because sometimes his pay doesn't line up. Um, so that just makes it a little bit easier. I don't have to worry about, you know, will the money be in the bank or will I have it and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the second time or the second reason is because um, I sometimes don't pay, you know, even though I have the best intentions of saying, okay, we get paid on Friday, I'm going to pay bills on Friday or, you know, Saturday. Sometimes I just don't, you know, just a couple of weeks back, I was, you know, I was sick. So I just didn't feel like doing it. I didn't feel like going to the bank. I didn't feel like, you know, paying bills. So that kind of helps me. It gives me like that extra cushion. Um, and what I mean by paying ahead, like when we get our bill, we don't have an amount due. What we have is like a bill credit. So it shows the amount due is negative $153.38. And that amount fluctuates throughout the year. I pay $78 every time we get paid, regardless of whether we owe something or not. And every time we get our bill, we actually have a, a credit on our bill. So that's how we, one of the ways that we pay ahead. Now we do that on, you know, all of our utilities and things. Um, but we are also trying to get ahead uh, um, 
in cash as well, just in case something happens. We have a, I don't know, a, a water leak and we don't know, you know, that our, our water, uh, you know, it's leaking. So we get an influx of, of a bill that could eat up that credit balance. So I do want to have a cash reserve for that, that as well. So um, I guess my question to you guys is, you know, how are you guys paying ahead? You know, what are some of the things that you're doing? Do you do the cash stuffing method? Um, do you do something similar to what I'm doing where I, I pay, you know, the actual utility companies and have an actual credit balance on their books? Are you, are you doing something that's completely different or maybe a combination of, of what I'm doing and, and you know, in something else and the reason that I'm asking is because a lot of times we kind of get sedentary we get like set in our ways on how we pay bills and do things and there are other ways and methods out there that may be better you know new and improved so I'm just trying to see you know if there's something else that's out there that maybe I'm overlooking or not thinking about um, so if you guys have any of that uh, please drop it in the comment section below because um, I'm sure there are other people out there that's wondering and kind of thinking the same thing so back to the budget um we were at uh we already took out for our cash envelopes um so we were left with a balance of 1046 um for our sinking funds we will be doing christmas at 120 and vacation at 100 so that's a total of 220 dollars so at that point we'll have um eight hundred and twenty six dollars left we don't take anything out for savings or uh, debit through the family expenses um, so that would leave our income of the 2964 bill amount of 1460 cash envelopes of 458 sinking funds of 220 no savings and no debt so that will leave us a remaining balance of eight hundred and twenty six dollars and I do try to leave a rollover on this account on on all of our accounts actually because I don't ever know when we're going to have some expenses now I did go ahead and do the cash breakdown but I did it in pencil only because if something comes up and I have to take you know a little more money out or maybe leave money in you know so we have an expense or something I say oh, okay well I can't contribute to Christmas or I can't contribute to vacation or whatever I can just erase it and, and, and do my tallies here but basically grocery is getting 150 and what I do with grocery instead of doing the highest denominations I typically do 150 and 520s just in case I just need to go pick up a couple of items I'll have a small bill to work with just take a 20 um, for household it'll be two 20s for medical it's um, 83 so I'll do a 50 a 20 a 10 and three ones tuition is 150 Wayne's which is 11 is getting a 10 and a 1 tags is getting um, a 20 a 10 and four ones and you guys you know I, I think this is kind of pretty self-explanatory on this I'm not gonna go through the whole thing but basically I just do the highest denominations for all of these unless it's something specific that I have to have smaller bills for like just say um, grocery and then I add all of those denominations up and I tally those and and I'll get the you know the money amount that I have to take to the bank so that would be our family budget. So if something changes, then I'll come back and I'll show you under the actual column what we either took out or didn't take out or whatever. So moving on to personal. Okay, so uh, for my personal budget, I'll be starting with 701. I have a rollover of 1,000. I did actually get two gift cards. Um, this month from my job um and the um, well they were two hundred dollars a piece which gave me an additional four hundred dollars so that's 2101 that i'll have to work with this uh pay period um these items here i don't actually take out of this income these um amounts my tides car my gas car insurance cell phone and my daughter peyton's allowance those things are typically drafted out um, or, or taken out before um, I start doing any of this budgeting. So that's why I have ACH here. Um, let's see, for my cash envelopes, we'll have uh, self-care, and I put self-car, self-care, which is $10. Spending will get $10. MJ allowance, which is my son, he'll get $12. So that's a total of $32 for our uh, cash envelopes. So that will leave um, 
$2,069. Um, so for my sinking funds, we have my business, which is $10. And just one quick little thing. Most of you already know that I will be launching a candle company in the very near future. This week was so much fun for me, guys. We actually got a lot of different fragrances in, and I have been trying to decide on fragrances. So if you guys have any special or... Um, I guess uh, any sense that you guys like link it below so that I can kind of you know try those and just kind of see I love blending fragrances all of our fragrances will be custom blends um, let's see I do have a couple of videos coming out on that channel this week as well it's seasons candle call so if y'all get tired of watching people count money and doing budgeting y'all can hop over there and watch a couple of videos um, but again, um, it's Seasons Candle Call, and you guys can send me, you know, some examples of what you like. Um, I think I'm going to do something kind of special, too. Um, maybe get you guys to kind of sample some of my, my fragrances. So if that's something you guys would want to do, also, you know, link a Me Too in the, in the um, description below so that I can know. Um, but anyway, I'll talk about that a little bit later on. Um, date night will be getting 10 challenges will be getting 417 and I'm gonna just let y'all know that 417 it might not happen I don't know that's that that's a lot I am doing my best to try to stay within my budget so that I can make sure that I meet all of these numbers um, but um, and in order for me to you know to meet it I, I know that 417 I have to try to, to do that but gifts um, we have uh, it getting $8 uh, debts will be 25 so sinking funds will be a total of $470 this pay period which will leave a balance of $15.99 um, again the 401k and my Roth IRA those are items that um, they automatically come out so before I even start any of this it's already out so that's why I have ACH um, moving on to debt you guys know i did pay out one credit card last week or well i guess it was last week week before last so the two cards that i have left is my olo and i don't really know what the amount i'm just guesstimating on this uh 90 dollars, and then american express is 50 dollars. and i know you're probably wondering why did it, the olo go up to 90 dollars? my husband had a total of about 10 pair of shoes delivered here um within the last two weeks and this is the card that it's billed to he is actually on a military leave, um, so he can't list any of those shoes. Typically what happens is he'll purchase them on the credit card, he'll list them, sell them, and then we'll immediately pay out the credit card. But since he's away, he can't do his product photography to list them. Um, but he do have like some of his regular people that buys from him, so he has sent me some money, so I will be updating um, you guys on that as well but for right now what we're doing is doing 90 which i know will probably be the minimum and then american express at 50 so that's giving us a total of 140 so the amount that we'll have left over is 14.59 and then for um just the summary or the breakdown we're starting with our income of 2101 and our uh, bill amount which is ACH uh, cash envelopes is 32 sinking funds is 470 savings um, that's through ACH so we don't put anything there debts 140 which is going to give us a remaining balance of 1459 um, and one thing that I did want to say is this balance I will probably be pulling from this balance to pay out um, additional debt uh, you know one of these credit cards starting February so once I see you know exactly what will be left um, is what I'll apply to one of these credit cards so um, but I'll go over that you know at that time again um, this is the cash breakdown I'm not going to go over all of this I did not tally this up um, only because I it, and I'll link it um, in the the cards um, with challenges it was a challenge for me to try to figure out what denominations each person gave me because as you know some of our challenges are family challenges I have challenges that I do with my husband 
Um, and then I also have like my personal um, challenges. So I may choose the highest denomination, but somebody else that, you know, is paying, you know, their portion of the challenge for that week, they may not do that. So I did not put the denominations for that. And sometimes they cash out me the money. So I have to go to the bank and get the money. So I'll wait until I have all those funds before I actually add that here. I did do this in pencil as well. And for the same reason, just in case something happens or changes, you know, I could have an expense I'll just you know make the adjustments as needed so um, that is pretty much um, all that I have for this video as I stated before if something changes um, as far as with the budget I will let you guys know when I start doing my stuffing um, this week we get paid I think on the 28th so I'll let you guys know so um, Thanks to all that stayed until the end. Please consider subscribing, hit the like button, and leave a comment. I do try to respond to everyone, and I hope you all have a great week. Bye.